Hey, it's John at Tinderbox Arts. So I should have made this video a while ago, but here I am now. Uh, a lot of people ask all the time about hooking up a GPS unit, something like I've done here, which is, you know, an aftermarket or a third party GPS unit or sat nav if you're uh, in the UK and they need to get power for it. And the other thing sometimes people will do is uh, they'll set up their uh, smartphone in a similar manner. They want to mount it up here or whatever. And again, they need power for the smartphone or whatever the device is, but they need power. And it's always said on forums and stuff that there's a power uh, port available that you can use, but it's always difficult to point out. So I want to try to point that out today and, and give you a few tips about it. All right, uh, here on the wiring diagram, now this is an R1200 RT wiring diagram, but um, if you have a GS, or even an R series, it's going to be very similar. In fact, it might may be identical. So there's several onboard sockets you can see here. And the one that we're looking at for use in the front dash there is called optional extras socket. And, you know, reading this diagram can be tricky if you're an American. So let me just mention one thing. Um, in this diagram, there's three wires, a brown, a green, blue, and a red white. The switched power, so what's going to happen is when you turn the ignition key on, um, this outlet or, uh, or socket will become live. When you turn the key off, it will turn off. But you only need two of these wires. The brown is the ground, or earth if you're in the UK, and the red white is the switched 12 volt power. The blue-green, I believe, is a pulse signal uh, from the wheel sensor, although I, I can't confirm that, uh, but it's not needed for what we're trying to do here. All you need is the brown and the red-white. And I'll mention one other thing here. If you see this wiring diagram, there's these symbols down here like 0.5 or 0.35. Well, if you're an American, that makes no sense. Basically, um, that's wire gauge, and I wrote this down because I can never remember it. So, you know, a 0.5 millimeter is equivalent to a 20 AWG, which is American wire gauge. A 0.35 is equivalent to a 22 AWG, so just so you know. But in any case, this sock is what we're after. It is connected to the uh, ZFE, uh, Central Electronics Unit, which is a little computer uh, associated with a CAN bus, and um, you know, it, it will allow a certain amount of current to flow through the circuit. It's not published as far as I know how much current that is, but if you're just trying to connect, you know, a GPS sat nav or a phone or something that's low power like that, it's not going to be a problem. You, you, you won't have any issue. So the next question is where to find this uh, mythical outlet so, or port. So uh, right here is the right side of the bike, right? And I'm going to bring you in and try to get your close up here. Um, now, if you've never used this power socket, it may be taped to a part of the frame. If the socket was used previously, it may already be loose. So it may look slightly different, but I'm going to give you two views here. First, if we come in, here's the mirror on the right. I'm just going to come right in here. There's the fork right here. And we're going to get it a little closer here. And you'll see right in this area here, now that actually is a fuse, which is something I put in. I'll explain in a second, so ignore that. But see this taped wire here? Let me try to get better. These, this kind of a cloth tape. And usually what you're looking for, if it's never been used before, is going to be wrapped in that cloth tape around this little frame section right here, and it'll be buried in there. But if it was already previously connected to a factory GPS, then it may already be out and you can see the connector. Now I'm going to give you another view here. I'm going to come in from the bottom, you know, so I'm, I'm going to stick the camera right. Here's the front wheel and the front tire. I'm going to stick the camera right up in here. I right, hear from the underside in the left side of your frame here. That's the fork. And I'm pointing right now to the area of the frame that this thing is normally taped to. All right, now I'm back up on top here, and this is the part where I contradict myself. Uh, not really, but I, it may be a little bit different on different bikes, which is what I want to try to point out here. So on my bike, for reasons that are not entirely clear to me, the connector only had the red and white wire and the brown wire. So that's all I had to worry about. 
But you saw from that wiring diagram, it could have that third wire. So why some bikes would have that and some wouldn't, I'm not entirely sure, but trust me, <laughs> these are the only two wires that you need. Now, there is a factory um, connector you can get, which is what you see right here. So here's the port or the plug, the black one, and the white one here you can get from, a, from the factory, but you don't need it. Um, so you can use the factory plug if you like, get this factory male side, and then cut the wires for the factory male side and connect it however you want to whatever device you're doing. Or, or you can just cut these wires right here and forget this connector altogether. Either one will work. But you, if there is a blue and green wire, you don't need it for what you're trying to do here. Now, the next step is, you know, how to connect you know, your, your third-party GPS or phone or whatever it is um, to this power. And th there's different ways you can do it. One is just direct wire, just, you know, splice in the wires and be done. What I did and what a lot of people do is I spliced in a cigarette lighter style uh, port, okay? Now, if you're in the UK, it might be a DIN style port, D-I-N. In the United States, it's, it's going to be the cigarette lighter style, which is just the preferred standard. Now, the reason I did that is because with a standard automotive style GPS unit, it comes with a cigarette lighter style plug. And I wanted the ability, uh, if I'm out on a road trip or something, you know, I'm whatever, hundreds of miles from home and my GPS fails, I want to be able to just run into a Walmart or something and pick up a new one and be done. So this allows me to do that. I have that cigarette style uh, port mounted under here. It's hard to see, but it's, it's actually reachable by hand. And by you know, connecting it to this um, factory harness right here, I now have that port available for just about anything I want to do. So I can use the GPS, I can change it out for something else if I need to, but I have the flexibility. And it happened to come with, somewhere here, is it happened to come with this fuse right here. It's an inline fuse. It's, it's really not necessary in the sense that the CAN bus system is also looking for problems, but it can't hurt. So, you know, I keep that in there. So that's where the port's located. Um, once you decide how you're going to connect it here, you know, just wrap it back up in tape and um, zip tie it to the frame and you're all done.